that time I was doing the work in the lab but also running this trial uh, in L-DOPA, uh, I became interested in uh, other movement disorders, but we didn't have a name for movement disorders. When Dr. Roland asked me to start a Parkinson clinic after, shortly after I joined, I told him, uh, because I was already, we already knew about dyskinesia and dopa, that there was a connection between abnormal movements and Parkinson's, and the dopa makes a Parkinson a kinetic person to a hyperkinetic person. So I uh, told Bud, look it, I, I would run the clinic, but I don't want to call it Parkinson clinic. We had to come up with a name for the clinic. Uh, and we, we, we sat, just like we're sitting now, uh, next to each other, and we're chatting about them, we're trying to come up with names. And Bud came up with the idea, well, why don't we just call it movement disorders? I said, that's it, movement disorders. <coughs> we called it movement disorders. And so we started the movement disorder clinic. And we saw all these interesting movements. What do we call this movement? And this, this is the, what Korea looks like. This is what athetosis looks like. These are her tremors. This is dystonia. And even though there's some jerky movements, we saw the repetitive nature and we said this was dystonia. So we were beginning to see the phenomenology. And it